Hey traders, Akil Stokes here of Trade Empowered and welcome to another Technical Tuesday video. Once again, I'm going to do a little bit of a split making uh, the first half of this available on my YouTube channel or wherever I post these videos. And the second half or the longer version I'm going to put out to the syndicate members because, uh, well, initially I just want to talk about the euro dollar and uh, some potential trades for today. And, and syndicate members, you know I gave you guys a 10 minute video yesterday. But going through my analysis, I actually saw a few other opportunities that I wanted to either uh, bring to your guys' attention, a different opportunity on pound dollar. The, the opportunity has now changed. And same thing with New Zealand dollar. The opportunity that I brought up last night has now changed. I want to uh, keep you guys up to date on those. But let's talk, uh, let's talk uh, euro dollar. Now, if you saw uh, this week's uh, Forex market preview, you know that we're pretty much at a trend line, as Jason mentioned. I think he drew in from right down here to uh, maybe a little lower. Yeah, you can see I'm not a I'm not a big trend line person. And actually, no, we're just this is a trend line from the daily chart. Here we go. If I can get it right. Again, doesn't doesn't really matter for me. I'm not a big trend line drawer, but you can see we're right at a trend line coming in from uh, our lows here back in November. And uh, I'm waiting for two things. I'm waiting to get a really clear direction of which way the euro is going. It wouldn't surprise me if we if we dropped a little more, retested these lows down here at 27.60. But right now we're being held up at previous structure lows, looking left, right here around this uh, this 28 flat level. Um, however, if I go down to a 60 minute chart, picture gets a little bit clearer as I can start looking for. A possible trend continuation trade you can see we've been just been trending down trending down trending down and well until I see a clear break of a, a major structure level there, there's no reason for me to think otherwise on this euro dollar at least on this time frame and remember traders it's very important that you trade the trades that you see in your time frame you know you don't want to be on a 60 minute chart and and say well we're in a, a, a bearish trend on the daily so I don't want to I don't want to hop in anything bullish on the 60 or the 15 you know although you, although you do want to take those higher time frames into account during your top uh, top down analysis you know different opportunities are going to be um, available on different time frames especially when it comes to these advanced patterns anyway looking left here on the 60 our next previous structure high is right here around this uh, this 29 29 level you can see the the uh, the dip below right here, we break and close below structure, we come up to retest it, we break and close again. So if this trend is going to continue, the next uh, next opportunity for me to get short is going to be up here around this level. And we actually have a potential bat pattern setting up. Now you got to scrunch up the charts a little bit to see this, but if I uh, let's go like that. If I look at this as being my impulse leg, taking a Fibonacci extension from X to A, you can see we come very close to a 618 extent uh, retracement but we don't meaning it's going to be a 50 percent retracement which means that i have bat pattern on my radar so i'd be looking for an x to a a to b up here b to c as we come down to a 382 and a cd completion up at this 886 which is going to be a one uh at 129.17 from the next shorting opportunity and you can see the thing about bat patterns or x leg is right here so it's going to offer me a very good risk reward uh, ratio now if i go down to the 15 and this looks to be setting up a little quicker than i thought we have another bat pattern as well taking uh basically what was my c leg of my bigger bat looking at this as being our new x to a coming down to our 50 percent right here and going x to a a to B, B to C, C to D, and looking for my bat pattern completion down at 128.51. So I actually want to get those orders on uh, pretty quick. So both a bearish bat and a bullish bat for you on Euro dollar. Uh, a few things to look for today, and of course, you know this bull this bullish bat can complete shoot back up and complete our bearish bat for uh, um, a stop and reverse type trade. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this morning's video and syndicate members hold on one second. I'm going to quickly touch on New Zealand and uh, Pound.